Welcome back to Space Weather News, your daily source for all things space weather related. If you enjoy our videos, please consider showing your support by subscribing to the channel. In a surprising turn of events, a coronal mass ejection struck Earth's magnetic field on July 16, a full day earlier than anticipated. The impact, occurring at 1920 UT, resulted in significant disruptions, including a 20 nanotesla jolt on the USGS's magnetometer in Fredericksburg, Virginia, and the onset of a G1-class geomagnetic storm. CMEs, massive eruptions of charged particles and magnetic fields from the sun's corona, are well known for their potential to affect our planet's magnetosphere and technological systems. This particular CME was propelled towards Earth due to multiple recent eruptions from the sizable sunspot AR-3363. The United States Geological Survey's USGS magnetometer located in Fredericksburg, Virginia, recorded a notable 20 NT jolt during the CME impact. Such disturbances in the Earth's magnetic field indicate the influence of the CME on our planet's magnetosphere. Although the recorded jolt was not excessively strong, it highlights the impact's significance. Moreover, the CME triggered a G1-class geomagnetic storm, a relatively mild event on the storm scale but still capable of affecting various technological systems. Potential disruptions may include satellite operations, power grids, and communication networks. Therefore, it is crucial for affected industries and organizations to be prepared for any adverse effects. It is important to note that the early arrival of this CME showcases the complexity of space weather forecasting. Despite advanced models and observations, accurately predicting the timing and intensity of CME impacts remains a challenge. This unexpected occurrence emphasizes the need for continued research and development in the field of space weather forecasting. Looking forward, there is a possibility of further CME impacts on July 17 and 18 due to recent eruptions from sunspot AR-3363. Sunspots, temporary dark regions on the sun's surface, often generate CMEs through intense magnetic activity. Monitoring the behavior of AR-3363 and tracking subsequent CME trajectories will be essential in assessing potential impacts on Earth and issuing timely warnings. As space weather events can pose significant risks to vital infrastructure and technological systems, scientists and space agencies worldwide are actively working to enhance our understanding of the Sun-Earth connection and improve prediction models. Accurate forecasting and proactive preparation are crucial to safeguarding infrastructure and ensuring the safety and well-being of populations worldwide. In conclusion, the unexpected early arrival of a CME on July 16, resulting in a G1-class geomagnetic storm and a 20 NT jolt on the USGS's magnetometer in Fredericksburg, Virginia, emphasizes the challenges of space weather forecasting. Despite being a relatively minor event, it serves as a reminder of the potential risks and highlights the ongoing need for research and development in this field. As we continue to monitor Sunspot AR-3363 and subsequent eruptions, it is essential to remain vigilant and prepared for potential future CME impacts and geomagnetic storms. Subscribe to our channel, and prepare to be captivated by a wealth of updates, insightful analyses, and profound discoveries as we delve deeper into the mysteries of our dynamic universe. Remember to hit that subscribe button and follow us on social media for the latest news and discoveries about space weather. To deepen your understanding of space weather phenomena, we invite you to explore our mini documentaries. Simply click on the on-screen videos to access these in-depth explorations. Thank you for watching.